Eye on Gauteng, brought to you by the Gauteng Department of Economic Development. It was a launch to grow entrepreneurship amongst the youth. Gauteng MEC for Economic Development believes entrepreneurship could be the answer to unemployment. Helping these young people to stand on their own, to be independent, to relieve pressure from the fiscals of them uh, relying on, 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 on the grants and all of those things, will be able to grow the South African economy, will continue to be competitive and will continue to become uh, indeed the leader of the leading economy in the continent. Some of the people who could benefit from this initiative are like Khomotso Ramushu. Entrepreneurship is something she's known all her life. I've been in a family of entrepreneurs. Uh, my parents, they never worked. My brother, all of them. So for me, it was easy to actually leave from school to get something that I can do on my own and be an entrepreneur. Um, actually, we were born with it. All of it, like even my grandmother, she owns her own tax shop in Rugridge and some mini businesses as well, BNPs and we name them. So in our family, there's never been a person who has to go and look for a job. You have to create your own employment and create jobs for others. So it was very easy for me to actually be an entrepreneur because that's how I grew up. Accelerator, large and break, gear level and break. Khomoto has risen above the challenges that come with being in a male-dominated field and takes it all in her stride. It's not much of a challenge. For me, it's an opportunity because people think that you wouldn't do what other men, actually men can do. Of each other's female with a feminine touch, you can do it even three times better. So they end up actually trying to get more ideas from me, even though they've been in the, in the industry for longer, because you bring a feminine touch where you need to not make it to be harsh and people to be patient on the road, as you it's always been perceived that instructors are harsh and all that. But you get to, they are very, they are like, they are very polite and all that. So challenges were that clients would not take you serious. The YH program is aimed at helping young entrepreneurs, such as Khomotso, to excel in their business ventures. They were going to do um, a presentation in Alex to actually welcome all the young entrepreneurs and SMMEs in Alexander Township to come and check on what is it that they do uh, with the economic development. Yeah, so that's when I got to find out. Then I enrolled with them immediately because of the opportunities that they say they have for youth. And for me, as I wanted to grow, I thought it's a, for me it's an opportunity to actually be part of them and enroll with them. So in future one day they can also come and call me for interviews so I can also be able to be somewhere. You know, it's very difficult for a small business, especially in the township, to actually be recognized with your clients outside uh, the township to show that you've got a good service, pro like good service that you would render for your clients and you won't drop them their money. You know, mostly we are nearby, our neighbors, it's, it's sentient. That's where the rich ones are. So we want to target them and it's very difficult for us to get there. Because um, if you, you already tell them that you're driving school from Alex, they'd rather take clients, I mean, driving schools that are in Sentin, even though you can provide them with better services than the ones in, in, in Sentin. Now the challenge is making sure that we get to be known even outside Alex. Will the YH program benefit young people such as Khomoto? Will this help her expand her business as a young entrepreneur? For now, it seems Khomoto has pinned some of her hopes on the success of the initiative.